everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina, and today we're going to be working on how to use our Cutting Cafe files with our Surecuts a Lot software. First thing we're going to do is open up our Cutting Cafe file that we want to use, and today I'm going to be using the Crown Card set. The, um, this set comes with a PDF file as well as a WPC file, and that is used for um, different types of uh, electronic cutting machines. We're going to be using our Cricut, so I'm going to go ahead and use our PDF file. So the first thing I'm going to start with is um, my envelope, and I'm going to go ahead and open my envelope using my Adobe Photoshop uh, software, because I need to change the PDF file into a JPEG file to bring it into Surecuts a lot. So once this opens, I'm going to go ahead and do um, a file save as and change it to a JPEG. So file save as, and I'm just going to change this to JPEG and where I'm going to uh, store it. I'm going to keep it under my blog photos. And just hit save. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with all of my other uh, files for my card that I'm going to be making. So this is the Assorted Crowned um, card. So I'm going to go ahead and open this one. And hit OK. And for this one, it does have this little um, front top here, so I'm just going to actually highlight that, hit delete, and remove that from my from my picture because I don't want that to be brought into the Surecuts sure a Lot software. So I'm going to go ahead and do File Save As. Again, um, changing it to a JPEG. And I still have one more image I need to um, change, and that's going to be the top part of the card. So again, doing open with Adobe Photoshop, bringing it into Photoshop, and file save as JPEG. Okay. So now that I have those all saved, I'm just going to go ahead and close out Adobe Photoshop here. And I'm not going to save any of these. And close that file. And we're going to open our Surecuts a Lot software. I'm really having a good time using um, the software. There's lots of things you could do with it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by adding a triangle to my uh, map because I want this to be the same size as a regular uh, card. So I'm going to make this 5.5 um, inches and I'm just over in my portion size over here by 4.25 to make it a 5.5 by 4 and a quarter card. And I'm just going to use this as my guide for my envelope and my, um, my card as I bring it into Surecuts a Lot. So to start bringing in um, our first image, I'm going to go ahead up to image and I'm going to browse and find where I saved my envelope from the Cutting Cafe file. So we just hit open and it'll bring it into our image here. And it gives it right here in the preview box. But what I want to do is I'm going to break apart the outlines because for some reason when I bring these over to Sure Cuts a Lot, it does create a double line. So I'm just going to hit the break apart and you can preview this and when you do it'll show up right in this box right here and it just takes a second or two to come through. Okay and once it does that we're just going to click OK. And it's hard to see but there are two lines right here so I'm going to go object, break apart, select the one I want to remove and then I'm going to go ahead and highlight it again because it does bring it in pretty big and just make this um, 10 by 10 by changing the width and the height. So 10 by 10, whoa, oh, have it at, okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and resize my envelope knowing that I want it to fit a four and a quarter by five and a half card. So I'm just going to go ahead and mess around with my sizes here. Oh, 
okay? And what I did was I just kind of looked, this is where the card would sit inside the envelope. So I'm just making sure that my card will fit inside there. So I think it just needs to be made a little bit smaller. On that side, it may be just a little bit longer this way. As a matter of fact, it probably can be a little bit smaller, so let's see. I'm going to use my double arrows up here just to make sure it's all lined up nice. Yep. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is now that I have my envelope done, this will be my main, um, this will be, I'll only have my envelope on this mat. So what I'm going to go ahead now and do is add a page. So I just go up to the top, hit page, add page, and it's going to say page number two, and we're just going to click OK. But first I'm going to go back over here to my first page, and I just have to move my envelope out of the way so I can highlight my my template for my card, and I'm just going to copy paste that into page number two. You can even go over here, the first page, and delete it. And put this right back where it belongs. And back over to page number two. So the next thing we're going to do is bring in our crown card. So I went up to image, clicked on browse, and I'm just going to select my card, hit open. And once it comes into the preview box here, I have to hit the break apart outlines again. And OK. And again, it's going to come in fairly large onto the mat, but that's OK. But before we, while we have the card selected, we're going to go up to object, break apart, select our card one more time, and hit the delete key. And it takes away that one extra layer. So I'm going to highlight this. And then once again, I'm going to make this a 10 by 10 so it fits on my my mat. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and resize this so that it'll fit inside my template that I created um, over here. It's about the fold of the card right in the center there, so I'm going to go ahead and move this around and just get it to fit in our template. Again, this is just so I can make it a standard size A2 card. So there we go. That is our, our card. And I'm just going to bring in one more image. And I click on Image, Browse, and I'm going to bring in the top part of the card, which is the layer that's going to sit on top of the card. I want to use that. So once it comes in, I'm going to hit the Break Apart line. Click OK. And again, it comes in fairly large, Object, Break apart. I'm going to highlight it, hit the delete key, highlight it again, and we'll change the width and the height to 10 by 10, which just fits it on the mat so that we can play with it to get it to fit our image. So we're just going to scroll down a little bit and we'll start uh, making this a little smaller and getting it onto. I want this to actually be the same exact size as my my um, card that I have here. So I'm just going to stretch it out and get it to fit. So basically what I'm doing is just overlapping the layer, the um, teal layer on top of the blue layer, which is the card. And this does take a little bit of fiddling, but once you have it, then you're good. So that looks, there we go, that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is just select my template box right here. And oh, it's selecting my whole card. And just move my card over, select my template box. I'm just going to delete that. I don't need it. I want to cut it. I just used it as a guide for um, making my card the right size. So I'm just going to set these on the mat where I'm going to put my paper and I'll go ahead and cut this out and we'll be back and I'll show you how to assemble. Okay so I have all of my pieces cut out and I already went ahead and assembled my envelope so that's all ready to go. So let's go ahead and put together our card. So this is the base of our card and I already went ahead and scored um, right in the center just to make the, uh, the base of my card. And I'm going to go ahead and add my top layer to this and I'm just going to use my um, ATG gun for this. It 
It is really humid here today and my ATG gun is kind of acting up a little bit. So bear with me. Probably should just use my smaller glue <laughs> or tape runner for that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this down in the base of my card. Okay, so that's my top layer, and now what I'm going to do is I have this really cute uh, trim that I got, and I'm just going to add this right to the bottom of my card, and for this I'm going to use um, some score tape, only because I don't want it to fall off, and with the humidity my HG gun is just, I noticed that it, the tape just doesn't hold as well, or the adhesive doesn't hold as well. So, I'm just going to go ahead and add this down, right there. And I'll trim off the edges. Okay, so that's that. The other thing I did was I just went ahead and took a piece of satin ribbon, and I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that right to the top of my crown using a glue dot. Let me see. This one, those are my big glue dots. Look at the smaller ones. I'm just going to put that right there. And then I want to add a gem to this, and I'm just trying to decide which gem I want to use. Let's see. I'm just going to use this one. I'm going to put that right there. Because a crown has to have gems, right? Okay. So I also went ahead and printed out the sentiments that went ahead uh, went along with this uh crown card and I cut, I printed out the happy birthday princess uh, circles phrase and I just went and used a one and three eighths circle punch for the uh, circle and then a one and a half inch scallop punch for the outside layer and it just peeks out a little bit so I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down let me just grab those glue dots again and just use those since they're right here Look at me, I'm putting it on the wrong side, but that's okay. Because I am going to add something to the center of this anyway, so it works out. So we'll just add this right to the center of my scallop. And then for this, I'm just going to put a little prima flower right in the middle. So putting the um, glue dots on the wrong side worked out. And then I'm going to add a pearl to the center of that. And I just want to decide what size pearl I want to use. I'm going to use a pearl or do I want to use... Let's use the green, the green gem for the center of that. And I'm thinking I also want to use these small pink and green gems that I have left on the top two corners. Okay, so the only other thing I need to do is just get some dimensionals, and I'm going to go ahead and pop this up. And I'm going to do this in a double layer, because I'm going to put it down here by my trim, and I don't want the trim to make it crooked or anything. So, so there we go. That's our card for today using um, the Cutting Cafe Crown um, assortment set. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!